I want a cat. Jessie wanted a cat. All her friends had pets. Some of them had big pets and some of them had little pets. Jessie felt that she was the only girl in the world with no pet. And Jessie wanted a cat. Her mum and dad always said no. Cruelly creepy, yowly things they called them. So they kept giving Jessie toy cats instead. Look at all those toy cats. But Jessie wanted a real cat. Then Jessie planned a wonderful plan. She collected lots of things. Fluffy white cloth, some needles and cotton and locked herself in her room. And she made herself a cat suit. Next, she took all her proper clothes and buried them in the garden. I'm going to be a cat in this house, she purred. What on earth do you think you're doing, said Mum. I'm going to be like this until I get a cat, said Jessie. And if I don't get a cat, then I'm going to be like this forever. On Monday, Jessie went to school. When the teacher saw her cat suit, he shouted so loudly she jumped on top of the blackboard and wouldn't come down, even for a saucer of milk. On Tuesday, Jessie went to a restaurant. Cats don't sit at tables, said Jessie, even in posh places. Milk and trout, she said to the waiter, and please don't cook the trout. May it be served down here? Certainly, madam, said the waiter. Soon, Jessie began to smell of fish. When it was time, for bath and bed, Dad went to catch Jessie. Now you'll have to take that silly suit off, he grinned. No, I won't, said Jessie. Not until I get a cat. Then Jessie curled up on her bedroom floor. In the middle of the night, Mum and Dad were roused by a horrible noise. It was like a million pigs falling downstairs and the neighbours were banging on the front door. It was Jessie on the garden wall. I want a cat, she was howling. Give her a cat, complained Mr Biggs from next door. Give her a cat, complained Mr Figs. Shouldn't be allowed claimed Mrs Figs. Give her a cat, complained Mum. So, early next morning, Dad went down to the pet shop and he chose a cat. He took it to Jessie's door and knocked. Jessie, he called. I've got a surprise for you.